No added sugar, low carb and keto friendly. This decadent, rich chocolate cake is going to make all your dreams come true. He's got budget meals for families, delicious new recipes. Bring your friends over, let's make it and share. It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So firstly, let's work on the dry mix. Into a bowl, add the almond flour. Next, the sugar substitute. I'm using stevia just because I prefer it, but you can use any other sweetener you wish. Next, I've got some cacao powder. You've seen me use this a lot in my keto recipes. It's much better than regular cocoa and it has a far richer flavor. Next, add in some baking powder and whisk the dry ingredients well. Next, add in the unsalted softened butter a drizzle of vanilla extract. Next, add in the eggs along with some unsweetened almond milk. Again, you can change up the nut milks as you prefer. Mix well until combined, and you want this looking like any other regular cake batter, thick and creamy. This batter will be lumpy though, but don't worry about that too much. It's just because of the almond flour and the way it clumps. Now this makes two cakes, so pour half the batter into each cake tin obviously using the same size spring form cake tin, and line them with baking paper. Place them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. Remove from the oven and leave to cool slightly and remove from the tins and allow them to cool completely. While we're waiting, let's get on to our frosting. Into a mixing bowl, add the softened cream cheese, softened unsalted butter, and again a sugar substitute, in my case, stevia. Add in some cacao powder and finally pour in a small amount of full fat, heavy cream. Whip the frosting until it's light and creamy. I'm using a stand mixer, but you can do this by hand, it will just take you a bit longer. To assemble, I place one of my cakes onto the cake stand and dollop some cream cheese frosting on top and spread evenly. For this middle layer, you want it pretty thick, so don't be afraid to add more than what will go on the top or the sides. Now place the second cake on top, push down slightly, and then repeat the same process for the top, smoothing out all sides, but this time put the frosting on the sides and go around the cakes. Now I'm not the world's greatest cake decorator. I'll leave that to Cakes by Chopper or Nick from the Scran Line. So it doesn't look perfect, but it's not meant to be either. But get it as smooth as you can using a palette knife. Finally, I'm adding in no added sugar, keto-friendly chocolate chips around the rim of the cake. You can buy these online. Yes, they are more expensive, but it's worth it. Next, I melt down some of the same chocolate chips and drizzle it all over the top of the cake. And this gives it another great look and it will fool any chocolate cake connoisseur into thinking it's the real thing. Now slice into the cake and behold in its low carb beauty. It's rich, moist like a mud cake and the chocolate flavor is so good. Sure, you aren't gonna eat the whole thing, but it's a real treat for guests coming over and something to impress your keto low carb buddies with.